Hello everyone, welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie. Thank you so much for joining me live or on replay. So, appreciate you swinging by and joining me tonight. I'm just going to make sure I'm live and we can get started. Um, okay, I see someone's watching. Okay, if you're live, say hi so I know um, I'm in the right spot and... I don't know why my computer isn't letting me see comments. Oh, technology. Gotta love it. Hey, Christina, listen, I got your email and um, I'm searching for an answer. Hello, hello. I'm searching for an answer and I will get back to you. I apologize that it's taken me so long. Hi, Amy. Hi, Karen. Okay, I have to say that my phone holder is still hanging on by duct tape. Um, I have ordered a replacement one, but I was informed that they're completely out of stock. So uh, hopefully my phone doesn't completely fall in the middle of my live video tonight. Um, that would be like really embarrassing. So, uh, but hopefully pretty soon it'll be, I think they said like end of September. <laughs> so I wish you could see this. It's like literally holding on with duct tape, um, which is fun. So hi, Michelle. Hi, Terry. Hi, Beth. Oh, from Maine. I love Maine. I used to go there every summer when I was a kid to vacation. It's one of my favorite places to go. Okay, so let's dive in tonight. This is my sample card and I'm going to do a couple of tweaks to the one I'm going to do tonight. And uh, I've been wanting to do a card for the longest time using the foam adhesive sheets. And yay, I was finally able to do one. <laughs> so i um, really excited about uh, this card and sharing it with you. And like I said, there's a couple of tweaks I'm going to give to it uh, because I wanted to try something a little different. But let's just dive in. And, you know, that's how I usually do it. We dive in and as I, as I create, I explain. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Hi, how you do? I miss seeing you, Lynn. It's been so, so long. My goodness, since I've had a party here at my house. Wow. A stamp class. It's been quite a long time. <laughs> so uh, my card today is starting off with a uh, Highland Heather cardstock. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'm just going to crease that with my bone folder, which I remembered. I never remember it. I'm always scrambling once I'm live to find it, but I remembered it today. Hi, Heather. Oh, thanks so much. Jean Ann, I appreciate it. Um, okay, so card base Highland Heather. Uh, next, I'm taking a pattern. Actually, no. Let's back up for a second. This is one of the things I'm switching. I debated on whether or not to do this. Um, during like for my sample card tonight and I thought hey I'm gonna try it for my, my live card and then we'll see which one we like more um, I know right Lynn it's been quite a while so this is just another panel of Highland Heather it's four and a quarter by five and a half and I embossed it using the oh dear did I put it away I did put it away using the winter snow embossing folder it's got this beautiful snowflake texture um beautiful snowflakes i mean the detail on these flakes are just really really pretty so i did that ahead of time and that's what it leaves me again with all of our embossing folders i i really like that you have a beautiful like positive image but then the negative is equally as beautiful honestly you could have either side showing out and uh, really pretty. In fact, I don't know which one I want showing out. I think I want the positive. Yeah, I want the positive. But the negative is really pretty too. Um, so this is one of the things that we're going to do a little differently. Let's try it and we can decide uh, which one we like more. Okay. So that's just going to go right on our card front here. I was afraid it was going to be like snowflake overkill <laughs> that's why I didn't do it in this one um because I have snowflakes in my paper I have cut out snowflakes so we'll see if it's like if it's like a blizzard like a pretty blizzard or if it's one of those nasty blizzards <laughs> you know what I mean we'll find out um okay so next I took a panel of this is called oh what's it called what's it called snowflake splendor designer series paper this is in our 
uh, current mini catalog, um, and it's beautiful. The, the images on this is just gorgeous. I think I'm going to have to buy another pack because I definitely want to use this for some of my, um, like with the kids, um, scrapbook pages for like when they're playing in the snow and stuff, it's just really pretty paper. And they're kind of like purpley blue hues. Um, with, so this is what I'm using. It comes here. Let me pull it out so you get the full sheet. Depending on where you cut in the sheet is the color you're going to get. So this is, well, I've cut a little bit off, but this is the, the pattern that's in that designer series paper that I cut out. And uh, so again, if you want more of a blue, like cut here, more softer pastel purples, this is more blue on this side. So depending on where you cut is going to be the colors that you get. Uh, hey, Lisa. Oh, I know here too. Definitely fall is coming. I love it. I'm, I'm just exuberant. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love it. I don't really like summer. It's too hot. <laughs> um, so I went for this one here because I wanted to kind of like a softer purples with softer blues. And uh, here I kind of get both. So that's what I was going for. This is two and one eighth by five and a half. And then I'm going to mat it on um, and one eighth larger. So, um, <laughs> which I had to just double check two and a quarter by five and a half. So this is two and one eighth by five and a half. This is two and a quarter by five and an eighth, five and a half. Oh my goodness. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Oh my goodness. I can't get it right. Does that make sense? Did I <laughs> utterly confuse everyone with my measurements? I'm just proud I'm like remembering measurements. Usually I forget and people email me, hey, what was the measurement of this, that, or the other thing? And I'm always like, I'm so sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't write it down. And I don't write it down mostly because the process that I use to kind of develop a card is ever changing. So this, for example, I started off with like a huge piece, um, almost covering the entire front of the card front of this designer paper. And then I was like, actually, I think I'm going to trim it down a little bit. So I trimmed it and then I trimmed it again. So I never quite remember what my final <laughs> measurement is. So DSP is two and one eighth by five and a half. And the Whisper White is two and a quarter by five and a half. So they're the same length, just ever so slightly larger. Okay. <laughs> Write that down when I said it correct, not when I said it incorrect. <laughs> I'm going to adhere it kind of to the bottom of my card here. Not kind of, I am. <laughs> okay. I think I like it with the double snowflakes. We'll have to see when we're all said and done. Okay, so now you're going to need a, like just a piece of Whisper White cardstock here. And oh, let me show you my color palette. I love showing my color palette because I love color palettes. They're really pretty. So Balmy Blue, Highland Heather, and Gorgeous Grape. Gorgeous Grape. I'm not really using that much. I only use it on the inside. I know you're impressed. I never stamp the inside of my cards, but Christmas cards I do. So the gorgeous grape is going on the inside. And then I'm using the Snowflake Wishes bundle. So gorgeous, gorgeous snowflakes. I cannot wait to use this in a scrapbook page. I'm so excited. And it's one of the few sentiments, um, one of the few stamp sets that include a Hanukkah stamp set. So if someone that you know is Jewish, this is a great one to grab. It has a, a Hanukkah sentiment on it. And uh, I'm using the Snowflake Wishes for a Merry Christmas. It looks kind of small here, but they're actually, the sentiments are fairly large. So I don't know, does it say the percentage? No, it doesn't. Does, oh, images that are 70%. Okay, so they're larger than are shown here. And uh, the Snowflake Wishes does come in a bundle. A beautiful bundle, actually. So the dies are so many Snowflakes dies. Now, when you get it, if I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken, but I think you get it like this. So just keep in mind that there's two sheets and that, you know, you have Snowflakes on either side. I almost didn't even see these two snake Snowflakes over here when I first got it. So just mindful that there's Snowflakes on either side. Um, this guy here, I almost used, I was toying with what to do, <laughs> um, but he cuts, it, cuts out the negative of a snowflake. So as opposed to like cutting the entire snowflake and all the detail, he just kind of cuts out, I guess the negative, right? <laughs> Whatever that's called. 
I just think that was really pretty. I toyed with using that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this net. This is what happens. I, I create these things and then I don't end up using them. And I have a pile just sitting here. Um, and my oldest daughter loves to come by. She actually will go through my trash bin on my um, my station here, my desk. And she'll be like, oh, mommy, what's this? Or, oh, why'd you throw that away? This is beautiful. And she, she goes digging through my trash to find what I'm like, and eh, we're not keeping that. And she takes and does who knows what with, with them. Um, you threw out the second sheet. Oh, my gosh, Amy, that's horrible. How did you, how did you do that? That's hysterical. Okay, so the two, let's see if I can figure it out. This one and this one, yes. These are the two, oops, these are the two snowflakes that have coordinating dies that just cut out the outside. So you can stamp these and then these stamp out the outline. Oh, sugars, I meant to grab it. Oh, I left it upstairs. Shoot. Okay, well, anyways. I originally had the idea to use the foam adhesive sheets and cut out these, and I did it, these guys here. And I meant to bring it, it's upstairs on my desk, um, but to cut out these. But let me tell you, you have to have patience like no other to do it. So if you're using the foam sheets, um, it's easier to pick out things that don't have a lot of detail that need to be poked out. For example, this is just cutting the outline of a of a snowflake. So it was really easy to pop out. But if I were to take like this snowflake here that I have to get all these little bits out in the center, it's a little challenging. And that's even coming from someone that loves to take the time to fussy cut. That was even a little like, oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> so something to think about when using the foam sheets. So basically the show, foam sheets are like our dimension, our Stampin' Dimensionals, but there's no, there's nothing cut out. So it's a foam sheet. It's like one big dimensional. Is that how I can say it? <laughs> um, and I totally lost my, there it is. Sorry, I lost my card. So if you see, this is, this is one big adhesive sheet. It's not like a bunch of dimensionals holding it down. It's like one big thing. Okay, I don't know. Maybe maybe I should just keep stamping, and as I stamp, it, it'll make sense. So, um, I mean the purple cutout sniff snowflake over the sparkle paper. I toyed with using the sparkle paper, um, Terry. I did, but this is all I have of it after my product share, and I didn't really have enough. And I toyed with it. I don't know. I even toyed with using like Wink Estella. Maybe we'll try that live. I really was like, ooh, we should maybe do that. Um, but definitely lots of things that can be... Snowflakes are fun. I don't think we can take snowflakes too seriously. We just need to have fun with them. Duly noted, nothing close to fussing cut for me. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd brought that card down. I left it upstairs. Oh, bummer. But it was, it was really tedious. So it's not impossible, okay? It can be done. But you just have to be really patient. If you don't want to mess with having to be patient, <laughs> um, do what I did. <laughs> um, have any white. No, I don't have any white sparkle paper. I know. How do I not have any of these fun things? You could use the Dazzling Crystal Effects. It's back from last holiday. Yep, I could do that too. Definitely, Roz. Yeah, you guys are giving great ideas. Thank you. Yep. Great, great things. I don't know. Where is my Wink of Stella? Hold on. Let's see if I can. Oh, I do have it. I have it right here. We could try Wink of Stella on this one. I thought of that. Okay. So what I'm going to do. What do I do with my scissors? Oh, dear. <laughs> this is the problem is I set things down and then I can't find them when I'm live. Hold on. I got to find scissors. Here we go. I'm going to fussy cut out. Not fussy cut out. I'm not fussy cutting it. Look, anybody can do this, okay? I'm rough cutting out my snowflakes just to make a smaller, make it smaller. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Thanks for joining me tonight. Okay, so next you're going to take a sheet of the foam adhesive sheet. So these are just, they're like four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And you get six in a package, okay? They come like this. 
lots of them. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I don't think I need that. Well, I don't want to cut it too short. Okay, I'm going to do that same rough cut on my foam adhesive sheet. Now, try not to go too far over the paper because if not, it's gonna stick, it could stick to your um, plate. And then I'm gonna, hold on, I gotta figure this out because I didn't do a square. If you cut this out in a square, this isn't a problem. Um, I'm gonna stick my foam adhesive sheet to the back of my stamped image. Okay, does that make sense? So stamp, kind of cut it down, pare it down, and then you're gonna take your foam sheet. Again, if I had cut <laughs> squares, I should have done that. Cut a square would have been a little easier, but you know. Then we're gonna cut that out. See, that little bit is gonna wanna stick to my plate, so try not to have too much excess. Okay, then figure out what side needs to go down. This is the side that needs to go down. And adhere it down. Okay, now we gotta cut these out. This one goes to that one here. No, hold on, that one goes to that, okay. <laughs> First of all, make sure which snowflake goes to which snowflake. It's kind of a help. Um, keep in mind with our new dies, when you kind of fit your die around it, it's going to be a tight fit. So you're not going to have that little lip around it anymore. And here's the thing. This is, this is a, or the magnetic plate isn't going to help you with this. So once you put it down, it may shift a little bit. So if you're a little nervous about that or a little uneasy about it staying in place, um, line it up, get it where you want it. Okay. Then just take a little bit of washi tape. That's okay, Roz. I would like, I mean, champagne. <laughs> Absolutely. You can just add a little bit of washi tape to hold it in place. Again, your magnetic plate isn't going to help you because you have this giant, like, this thick thing of foam in between. So, your magnetic plate isn't going to be of any help. Um, oops, see, that one shifted a little bit on me. Okay. And then we're going to run it through our die machine. Now, when you run it through, keep in mind it's going through the cardstock as well as going through the foam sheet. So I like to run it through and then run it back and then flip it over just to make sure you have a cutout. Okay, whoops. I'm going to do this one next. So run it through, then run it back. And then, see, if, if you have a little bit of um, foam sheet hanging over, it's going to stick to your plate a little bit. Then, then you can pull your washi tape off. When I did my sample, I didn't use washi tape, so hopefully this comes right off. I don't know why it wouldn't. It's washi tape. Good. Okay. Phew. <laughs> I was a little nervous there for a second. You don't need your die, and this you just gotta push out. Ta da! Okay, and so now my whole snowflake has a dimen one ginormo dimensional, dimensional, dimensional behind it. So it just really works really well for intricate, smaller things that maybe you couldn't get a dimensional on, or, um, do you use a regular die sandwich while cutting with foam? You do. Yep, you do because it gets squished. That's a good question. Yep, normal sandwich. Okay. Pull this out. Ta-da! Like, how fun is that? Like, no trying to get little dimensionals on these little petal. They're not petals. Whatever these things are called. What's the thing of a snowflake called? A branch? <laughs> You know me and my words. I don't know these things, whatever they're called. You don't have to worry about trying to get dimensionals on them. The whole thing is one big dimensional. So fun. Hi, Denise. Thanks for joining me. Okay. So here's the thing. Because I embossed my Highland Heather back here, I can't put my sentiment in there anymore like I did in my sample. So... 
I don't know. I, I, I'm winging this because I don't really have a plan. Um, I thought I would stamp it maybe in the Highland Heather. Um, or should I stamp it in? I might stamp it in, stamp it in Gorgeous Grape, actually. On a piece of Whisper White and then just cut it out. I know, right, Terry? Super easy. Spokes? Exactly. What are those things called? These things. You know, I have to tell you now that uh, we're homeschooling this year and like I'm teaching my kids science and stuff and honest to goodness, I feel like I'm le learning everything like <laughs> right with them because I just, I'm sure I learned this stuff, but man, I have no recollection of like learning the parts of a flower. That's what my son's learning right now. And I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I honestly, I'm learning right with him because I just don't know these things. I always say like my brain kind of hit capacity a long time ago and then it just started like, you know, discarding useless information <laughs> such as what are these things called of a snowflake? I don't know. <laughs> um, flourishes. I learned that from you, Amy. When in doubt, it's a flourish. <laughs> I did. I learned that from you. Okay. So I just stamped it along in. I went with the gorgeous grape for just a little bit of a darker contrast. Um, and I'm just going to trim this down. I don't know. I'll tell you what it ends up being. Well, I'll tell you. It ends up being like three quarters. This is like three quarters. And then, I don't know. We got to play with this a little bit because I'm kind of flying off the cuff here because. Um... Oh, and this is the other thing. When I was trying to figure out my snowflake placement, I kind of went like purple more over the blue and blue more over the purple. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it kind of made sense in my head. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Hi, Carol from Michigan. Mid-Michigan. Mid-Michigan. Are you having fall there, um, Carol? Probably, right? I don't know. Oh, geography, that's another thing. Maybe I should be teaching my kids geography because I don't know geography. Oh, it's so bad. Okay, so I snipped the end of a like a banner. Maybe I'll have it up there. I don't know. What should we do? Hmm. I, this is the part that I'm winging it, people. I didn't. I didn't plan for this. Um. If I could get this guy fitting down here, and then him up here. I think I'm gonna do it overlapping. Ah. No purple over here, blue over here. Kind of blue over the purple and purple over the blue, and then that guy down there. Sold. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me turn this down. Hi, Joy. Good evening. How's everyone doing tonight? Okay, so here's when, if I was planning, this is what I would do. I would get out my phone and when I would take a picture of this so that I remembered, okay? Because inevitable, I like the way I have it laid out and then when I go to adhere everything down, I'm like, wait, how did I have that again? So you guys are going to have to be my memory. This is how I want it, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but let's do the ribbon first. So the ribbon is the, what is this stuff called? Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. It's like an iridescent. I don't think it actually has a color. It's just got like this shimmery sparkle to it. So it definitely goes um, with, you know, snowflakes and sparkly. Here's the thing though. When I tied it and then tied it in a knot, the knot was kind of all wonky. I didn't like the knot. So I actually tied like a faux knot so it's a real knot but it's like this so this is what I did I'll walk you through how I did it I cut it the length that I needed it and then on the ends I used some tear and tape always takes a second to find where you left off tear and tape and I adhered it on the end of my ribbon now it is like ever so slightly too large like I mean by barely nothing but you're gonna want to trim it because if not your card is gonna be sealed shut <laughs> you don't want that um, yeah it is yeah I couldn't make a bow with it I, I didn't even really make a knot with it I did a fake knot so on the opposite end on the same side so make sure you do it on the same side hold on is my sizing right whoo that's close um, 
just make sure you trim the excess. Can you see there's like a little bit of excess, a little bit of a lip on the side there? Trim that off because if not, when you go to put that ribbon down, it's gonna, you know, stick to, it's gonna seal your card shut and that kind of defeats the purpose. You know what I mean? Okay, so I actually even put a little bit in the middle. Should I do that? No, I don't think I am. So peel one end. And then what I do is I literally just lay it down and then lift up one side and tuck it under because that way I know I get it like exactly where I want it. And then peel off my other side. Whoops. Be careful not to peel the whole thing off. You got to just get the covering. There we go. Get it straight where you want it. Tuck. And there's our little ribbon. Okay, then I took another little piece of our ribbon. I don't know if it's so little. I'll tell you what I end up cutting it in a second. Inevitably, I always end up trimming them down though, so I always cut way too big. This little piece is like three and three quarters. And then I just like tie it under and then tie my knot. And that way I can kind of control my knot a little bit better. I want, I want it straight. The other one, when I tied it like in, you know, I wrapped it around and tied it. Like one was going this way and one was going this way. I didn't, I wanted them somewhat straight. So does that make sense? And then you can trim if you want. That's a little on the long side. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of trim, not too much. Maybe a quarter of an inch on either side. And then we can start putting everything down. So that was there, I think. You're gonna have to remind to me. <laughs> and then maybe this one was up here, I think. And then this one over here, is that how it was? Maybe I'm going to have to put this one down first, though. And actually, while I have my adhesive strips, I'm just going to use this because it's also good just for gluing down, you know, using it as regular dimensionals, too. You don't have to just use it when you're cutting out a die. You can use it just to adhere a big something down like that. It's like it. It's just one big dimensional. Okay, so this I'm gonna put it in my lower right hand corner. Okay. I'm gonna kind of fan the, if you bend the end of your banner a little bit, it will kind of curl a little bit. It's very subtle, but it is curled. Then this one I think is gonna go like that. So just like a dimensional, you just peel the back. So fun, right? So easy down and then this one I'm gonna have them kind of tucked up there so peel the back and have that one go there okay now I could have added other little ones and I toyed with it honestly maybe that this one I maybe would like one up here and like one down here but um, I did take oh what are these called um hold on snowflake I don't have them in their original packaging, so I don't know the name off the top of my head. Um, let's see. Those are Snowflake Adhesive Backed Embellishments. And I'm going to take a couple of... They do come... It looks like there are a couple of different colors. One's a little bit more pinky, and one's a little bit more blue and green. I don't know. That could just be all in my head. But it, they do seem like they have different colors. Um, the, the Snowflakes actually are holding the ribbon down. Yeah. You're right. You're right, Beth. Yep. Thanks, Karen. You got my back. <laughs> I always realize like halfway through, I'm like, I don't know the name of that. <laughs> What's that called? I don't know. It's pretty. That's how I know it. So I'm going to add just a couple of these snowflakes around. Um, I'm using more like the blue green ones. I don't know because I think they're pretty. I guess depending on how they shimmer is what color it looks like. Ooh. Okay, Put it all. and then let's do our inside. Um, oh boy, I think I did totally do it. Okay, hold on. I used my, to stamp my snowflakes, I used my inside cardstock I had caught. Hold on, let me just trim this quickly. Um, okay, so for the inside, this time I'm gonna use the sentiment Mayor Season Sparkle. Very fitting for snowflakes. 
And I'm gonna stamp it again in the gorgeous grape just because it's a little darker. I feel like if I were to stamp in the Highland Heather, it would get a little lost. So the gorgeous grape um, is just a little darker and makes just enough of a difference that I like it. And then, because if we're gonna stamp the inside, we might as well go all out. Um, in the balmy blue, I stamped this one here, the one that has like snowflakes and then these kind of like dots around it. I stamped that along the bottom. So, one like that. And they kind of interlock, which is nice. And then one there. Okay. Ta da. Now I'm going to adhere that into my card. And then we'll be done. Although I'm still debating on whether I want to use the Wink Estella. Um, I think I might. I don't know. What do you think? Wink Estella or no Wink Estella? I feel like I want to. Should we try it? How about we try it on mine? And that way if it comes out bad. Um, is it out? Yeah. Okay, here we go. See, if you're not familiar with Wink Estella, it's like this clear, like liquid <laughs> that has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um, and it just, it kind of has to catch the light just right for it to be seen. Oh, I think I like it a lot. Um, let me show you this one when I'm done and then you can decide whether I should do the other one. Can you see it? Oh, the I feel like the light doesn't really catch it. How about that way? A little bit? A little bit, little bit. I have to catch the light just right. <laughs> Joy says, always wink. You can spritz it. Oh, I've never spritzed it. Okay, I'm going to do this one because I really like it. So you just, I guess I don't need that on it. You just squeeze it a little bit to get the wink down there, the Stella. And then you just go over anything. You could just do it on white if you wanted. Um, it's, it's almost like, I almost said that in Spanish. Why did Spanish almost almost come out um it's a little bit like versamark even that it doesn't really add color it's just like this wet appearance almost it gives but it has a little bling to it oh i like this it's very subtle the, the light just has to catch it just right it's really pretty okay almost done so if you've been watching and you haven't left a comment yet, please do so if you want a chance to win tonight's card. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to draw your names to see if anyone who my winner is, and I'll get it in the mail. So, and if you have any questions about any of the product I use, certainly let me know. I'd be happy to help you. Um, all this product is in the mini catalog. So, oh, I wish the light caught it just right does a little bit. I hope you can see it. Anyways, whoever receives it will be able to appreciate the Wink of Stella. <laughs> so there we go. That's tonight's card, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, be sure to head on over to my store to grab up all these goodies, put them in your wish list. Um, believe it or not, uh, Christmas isn't that far away, so start making a Christmas list if you want, and um, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, everyone, I will see you again next week. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.